Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to incorporate images into our Pi Game. So, in the last video, we actually drew our image and we made it give it a transparent background and all that fun stuff. Today, we actually want to bring it in. Now, I do just want to mention that the topic of images in games, generally, we call an image in a game a sprite. And curiously, you know, where does sprite come from? And the term sprite is actually used, it's like, it means in Greek, fairy or ghost. And so the idea of calling it a sprite is as it's like an image that doesn't like mess up the background, so to speak. So remember how I was talking about um, how we could have a white background if we wanted because our background in our Pi game is white, so you wouldn't really notice it too much. But if you run over objects, you'd get like the like corner of the square, and that is kind of just ugly. And so we don't like that. And so we use sprites, and we use the term sprite to describe something that can go over, you know, the background and doesn't look like we just, you know, collaged images or something together to make, you know, what looks sort of like a background or like a scene or, or whatever. So that's the uh, history of sprite and why we use the term sprite. So Greek fairy. So we're going to add some Greek fairies to our game here. <laughs> anyway, so adding images to your Pi game or your games in general is something that you're probably going to do a lot. So obviously we can draw objects in Pi game like I've shown you guys, and actually we can do a lot more drawing of objects than I've even shown so far. So you can actually you can draw like circles and polygons, and even like like you decide what the polygon is. You know, you just name some coordinates and it connects the dots, fills them in, all that. So you can do some really cool drawing in Pi game, but like say you want to make um, you know, like a road or something like that, generally you would use a sprite for this. You would make a road yourself and then it would just repeat itself over and over and over and it makes the game look more realistic. So anyway, loading up images in Pi Game, simple enough. I'm just going to show you guys some quick and dirty code just to get an image to show up to our screen. So first of all, we want to like, we want to define uh, our image and we want to load in the image. So this part you kind of want to be careful about because you can you can code it poorly and get a lot of input output happening and you just you don't really want that. So above and outside of all of your code, immediately you want to define um, the image. So before the while loop runs, basically. So we're just going to do it right here. So we're going to say image equals, and then we're going to say pygame dot image dot load, and then here you give the full path or the the path to that image. So my image was snakehead2.png and I have the snakehead2.png is in the same directory as the script that I'm writing right now. If it's not in the same directory then you can't get away with this. And also depending on how you run it, say you're on Linux or something like that, depending on how you run it this will may or may not even work. You might have to give the full path. So if you've got it in the same directory as your script this isn't working, and you need to give the full path uh, to snakehead2.png. So just keep that in mind. Uh, also, just for anybody, since we haven't really covered paths in here, and maybe this is one of your first uh, Python tutorials, when you give paths, like in Windows, if you like copy and paste a Windows path, it looks something like this, C colon slash uh, users slash h slash uh, desktop, stuff like this. Well, this backslash is an escaped character. So you don't want to use a backslash. Uh, you'd want to change all these to forward slash, forward slash, forward slash, and so on, just uh, to point that out. So anyway, snakehead2.png, um, and that's my image. So next thing we want to do is we want to actually um, put this uh, to the screen, so and actually and into our game. So. The way that I want to do that is we're going to put this in uh, the snake function here. And you see how we have for x and y in snake list, and then we do pygame.draw and rec and all this. Well, what we can do instead is we can come down here and remember as, we, as the snake grows, we append things to the end of the list. And the earlier stuff in the list or the first things in the list are actually the end of the tail of our snake. So well, for the snake head, 
The head of our snake is going to be uh, the negative first element. So when you reference a list and you do negative one, that's the very first element in that list. So uh, let me just go ahead and show you guys really quick. So we've got define snake, block size, snake list. And then what we want to go ahead and do is we're just going to say game display dot blit. And then we're going to blit what? We blit the image. And then where do we want to blit this image? Well, we want to blit this image in the location of where that first block ought to be. So that, that location is in snake list. It's the negative first element, right? The second to last, or the last element rather. And then it is, and that gives us an XY pair. So then we do zero, that'll give us the X. And then uh, we give the Y, which is gonna be snake list uh, negative one, and then the firsteth element, which is actually the second element, which is our, the first is our X, second is our Y, and that's our Y. So that's how we can blit the image to that location. Then we come down to our for loop and we see X and Y in snake list. And instead of doing all of the snake list, instead what we want to do is basically all of the snake list up to the negative first element. So this will do everything except for the very last element in snake list. And it'll blit all of this stuff or, or draw the rectangle rather. So that all should work. Just one last glance. And let's go ahead and run this. So we'll save and run it. And see here we have our snake. Why isn't he just some good looking snake? So we can move our snake around. Oops, too hard. This game is too challenging for me. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have our snake, but we notice, okay, well, we've got a couple of problems. First of all, the snake is way too fast. I'm gonna slow him down uh, for the next video. But we see that the snake head is only turned in the right direction when we go up. So we have to rotate the image. So rotating the image is fairly simple, but that's what we're going to cover in the next video. And before I forget, I want to change our FPS to 15. That's going to slow it down a little bit, and you guys will probably see it better. Oh my goodness, how did I die already? Let me do this again. <laughs> I don't understand. I just like loaded the game and I died. I'm a little concerned. Anyway, that's better. So in the next video, what we're going to be talking about is how we can get this snake head to turn based on the direction that we're going. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.